Support from the show comes from Gameplay Wear. Gameplay Wear has a wide variety of nerdy and geek related apparel. Go to www.gameplaywear.bigcartel.com and use the promo code BNB Tavern to get free shipping on clothes. Want cool dice sets and other tabletop accessories at a low price? Head on over to DarkSilverForge.com and use the promo code BNB Tavern to get 15% off your purchase. And support from listeners like you. Thank you. My name is Baylor Benz, and welcome to the BNB Tavern Show, Tavern Talk, where we take extraordinary people of extraordinary measures to make imaginary friends with stats and numbers. It's your friendly neighborhoods, dungeon master, storyteller, or whatever you want to call me, Baylor Benz, like I said earlier. This week, oh my gosh, we're back and at season six, I believe, which is very exciting. Half a dozen, six inches, go to Subway, celebrate that way. Uh, we thank you all for your support. But here we go. Season 6 is about to begin, and it's going to be a very, very nice season indeed. Uh, because uh, we're starting off with the week. I'm going to let her introduce herself, even though I just punned her last name. <laughs> Hi. My name is Morgan Berry, and I am a voice actress affiliated with Funimation. I, I voice for Madame Charlie in One Piece, 13 in My Hero Academia, Silver Sable in Marvel Avengers Academy. Let's see. Uh, Kitakami in Konkole. Sayo Samonji in Token Ranbu Hanamaru. And uh, Smite. I'm in Smite. I voice for um, the Smite World Championship Amaterasu skin. And uh, yeah, and a, and a few others. A few others. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. The, uh, there's an esports organization that I, I help and work with, and they actually just won that title. Yo, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. What a small world. And speaking <laughs> of small worlds, we got Morgan Barry in the building. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Hello, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> awesome. It is so awesome to have you. Also, just a little uh, legal purposes, I will also add this one little extra coin to the uh, tip jar of amazing resumes. Uh, she is also uh, Yoshiko, uh, I believe, uh, Yoshiko? Yoshiko, we're gonna say Yoshiko, uh, in Love Live, Sunshine, Take That Japan, We Did It. Um, but that's, that's, a, that's, that's your latest thing that you've been working on, or is that something that you just recently finished? Uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, is there like yeah. so that's so that's just recently just been completed or it's just been done for a while back? Like I'm I'm so out of this loop. Um, it's gonna that show is going to be on DVD uh very soon. I don't remember the release date though. Uh, do, can you at least name a season? Season one. Season. <laughs> that uh, when I meant season, I meant like fall, winter. Summer, oh, spr okay. spring. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. We can edit that out, right? <laughs> no, no. That, <laughs> that moment when you ask a voice actor, what season's coming out? Season one. Oh, oh, okay. Coming out <laughs> in, in fall in season one. All right. But with either that, keep on the lookout, guys. We'll just follow her Twitter. We'll link that in the description below. Uh, but other than that, Maureen Berry's here. Absolute pleasure having her. Uh, now that we also know that she's been in spite as a world champion. Uh, but uh, also a world champion of other things. You are also a fantastic, amazing singer, getting that singing career up and out there. What do you What do you usually sing? Like, what What would people not usually know you for for singing about? Or 
Like, what do you sing about for those who are diehard fans of yours but don't know about that amazing world of yours? Um, well, I have a YouTube channel, and I mostly sing song covers of songs from anime shows, usually the opening songs or the ending songs. And what I do is I adapt the Japanese lyrics to English. I use translations. I adapt it to English, make sure it rhymes in English, make sure it actually stays true to the original translation to the original Japanese lyrics um, make sure it fit make sure it fits all the syllables and I, I want it to stay true as true as possible to the original just in English and so um, yeah I work really hard on those lyrics and then I record it in English and I I, I sing it and I post it on my YouTube and uh, my channel is called the unknown so- songbird yeah Ooh, that's a bit, that's a very mysterious uh, very, very intriguing name. Is there, Thanks. Is there like any like, uh, like story behind that, or is it just like, oh, this sounds cool and uh, sounds like it would get a lot of clicks? Well, I don't know. I mean, I originally didn't plan on putting my identity to it. I didn't want anyone to know. I just wanted, you know, I was doing it for fun. I wasn't doing it for fame or anything. Right. And I'm still not. I'm still not. I do it because it's something I love. But exactly. uh, after a while, I my my parents and friends, you know, they're all uh, they're reposting my videos, you know, saying um, this is Morgan, this is my sister, or this is my daughter, isn't she wonderful? And I'm like, guys, you're not supposed to. I don't want anyone to know that's me. Like, stop posting about it. And so that um, it became a little harder to keep it a secret because everyone was all my friends were reposting my my videos, and so I just decided what the heck i'll i'll make a you know i'll make a face reveal i'll make a video blog and be like hey it's me so i can just i don't know just pull off the band-aid let's just get this over over with let's do a face reveal yeah and i'll put my name to it and it's fine <laughs> uh face reveals are always the scariest because you go like well i live in this whole different world of just revealing myself to the internet kind of thing putting yourself out there but like in the sense like it, it worked out in the end because you are you become a very you know well, uh, well, uh, what is, what is the right word? Well endowed in the resume area, uh, in in voice acting, and then you know you, it's it's hard to keep your identity, uh, when you are voice acting for popular stuff. As uh, as we cannot discreet the names of specifically for some reason. Uh, I mean, well, I mean, you could easily just Google my name, and you know. It'll come up. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm happy to do what I do. I I've always loved acting ever since I was young, and so I. But you know, I never uh, never thought of voice acting as something I could do, and it just it just happened, which is which is really neat. You know, it all came together. And it definitely worked out. And speaking of acting and storytelling, we are here to make a Dungeons and Dragons character and tell a story for you today, as usual. Uh, this is this is uh, is this your first D and D experience, Morgan? Or are you are you a seasoned veteran? Or I've played it a few times with my friends, but I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm very. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm not creative enough, so I try, I try, <laughs> but. I don't think I'm very good at it. <laughs> well, we're about to prove everybody wrong, and we're going to show why you are literally the best person in the world for Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> Matt Mercer, step aside. Morgan Barry's going to come after you after we oh, teach her a couple of the ropes of D&D. Oh, no. no, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. This is totally fine. Are you ready, Morgan, to begin <laughs> your D&D adventure? <laughs> yes. Awesome. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to run down, ask you a bunch of series of questions, like personality test or like a 20Q, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to figure out what you want, like how you want to tell your story, you know, what, what what makes your character a character, what you feel inside, your spirit animal, or whatever you choose, because the races, oh my gosh, the list of races. Um, I'm going to run it down like an auctioneer, each list of things, uh, if the list is very long, and basically you're going to choose and you don't have to do a darn thing you just have to say with your pretty voice uh whatever answer comes to your mind and whatever story you want to tell sounds good all right sounds good awesome start off 
Not to sound like a Pokemon professor, but are you a boy, a girl, or other? Girl! All right. Always, guys, stick with what you know. That's always important. Now it's to figure out what kind of girl. So we're going to go ahead and run down through the list of races. There's a lot of races, but uh, we're going to go ahead and run that down. Some of it you may recognize, like a common dwarf and elf, uh, or uh, something that you have never heard of before but sounds interesting. Uh, you can go ahead and after I run down the list, if it catches your ear and you want to know more about it, go ahead and ask me. But I'm going to go ahead and run down the list now, so good to go? Cool. Okay, you could be an Aarakocra, an Azimar, a Bugbear, a Dragonborn, Dwarf, Elf, Furbolg, uh, Genesai, Gnome, Goblin, Goliath, Half-Elf, Half-Orc, Halfling, Hobgoblin, Human, Kenku, Cobalt, Lizardfolk, Orc, Tabaxi, Tiefling, Trident, or Wan T. <laughs> That's a <laughs> lot. <laughs> yeah, the only one that I really understood was Elf, so let's go with Elf. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, within Elf, uh, there is also Half Elf, uh, Drow, Wood Elf, or High Elf. Oh, okay. I mean, hmm. I played Skyrim. I should know this. <laughs> Let's I see. Mean, depends. Uh, <laughs> so, like, Wood Elf is more common common Elf that you would think of. Uh, they also live in trees and make fudge cookies. No, I'm joking about that part, of course. Uh, but they do live uh, in the woods as their names intend to. Uh, but they also have more of the com common uh, humanoid coloring of skin, uh, whereas a high elf will have more sort of coral reef colors. And then drow is purple with white hair, and it's, you know, they live from the underground. Let's go with a drow. That sounds cool. Ooh, okay, she's, she's going to be a badass. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. Now, how old is your drow? Uh, 10,000 years old. Uh, let's see. <laughs> can Ten, I do that? You can live up to be 1,000. Oh. I am okay. So, unless let's, you, yeah. well, I mean, let's see, we could, uh... Let's stick with 25. I'm 25. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a great jump in difference. <laughs> I'm just like trying to look through the rulings. I think we could definitely make your character ten thousand if we just change a couple of rules here and there. If you wanted to go for that, <laughs> no, nah, it's okay. Let's keep it simple. Twenty five works. Twenty five is a good age as well. You have had much life experience as twenty five, as much as ten thousand. Uh, so, what? How tall do you want your drow to be? Like, are you yourself uh, super tall? I'm five foot four. Um, let's see. You're taller keep... than me. Am I? <laughs> I'm five foot two. <laughs> oh, huh. Well, I guess. <laughs> GG. I mean, we could keep it at five foot four. Ooh. It, unless you should, uh, should. It's your should story. Calling? It's your story. You can, uh, like, five foot four is a very, like, they, they sort of tend, they uh tend to be the same height as humanoids, but uh, humanoids tend to be just. Like, the tallest they can be, a humanoid can be just, like, a foot taller than. Hmm. Let's just, if we could, I mean, you know, if we could, let's do five foot five. Five foot five? Okay. Well, I'm five foot four, but we could, I, I mean, we could jump up to five five. The inch makes a difference, always. It's Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I, I agree with you. I like your thinking. A, an extra inch never hurts. Uh... Now, are they are they more of a muscular build or more a slim, elegant build? Yo, be let's make her a badass. Let's do it. Okay, let's give so, her some muscles. All right, give, like does she does she have not like, too many, not so many that it makes her look like a man, but you know. Like, <laughs> like are we like now? Are we talking like if you played Overwatch? Are we talking like Zarya? Or are we talking about like I don't know, like tracker, like a like a track and field kind of person, muscle? I guess tracker. I guess. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's see. So that would be like what? That would be like a hundred and forty-five, hundred and fifty, or I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I do. We don't know tracking, but we'll 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 keep track of that, and we'll say one hundred and thirty-five for now just to be on the safe side now 
what what is your moral compass what is your line of thinking now i'm going to run through your alignments this is a very popular thing amongst all D D memes and all the jokes and whatnot there's you know your lawful good your lawful neutral your lawful evil your neutral good true neutral neutral evil chaotic good, <laughs> chaotic neutral chaotic neutral just the words coming out of my mouth she already knew what she wanted she was just being nice and like waiting for me to finish uh, so <laughs> she's 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 like a pop tart she's crazy good okay uh, now how is she a badass we're gonna go run down through the list of classes you know you got your monk you got your barbarian the bar the cleric the druid the fighter the paladin the ranger the rogue the sorcerer the warlock or the wizard ooh you know I do like magic but but I don't want you know but I don't want her to be pushed around easily you know so let's see well I mean like uh, the most badass like close up in your face fighter is sometimes could be a bard sometimes could be a warlock alright I mean we could go with warlock oh okay yeah let's go with that alright uh with a warlock uh the way you get your magic is you make a pack with a uh, a devil or a fiend and you immediately get like all the like wizard mastering magic and you just sort of shoot lasers out of your hands like pew pew it's amazing it's the best nice. thing ever it's like hell rider except without the, <laughs> without the motorcycles cuz motorcycles don't exist and and why why did this drow become a warlock Story to time. avenge her family oh her family her family was killed Get deep here to avenge her family was there like was her family killed or did they get like a bad name like like do they run like a chinese restaurant and they food poisoned the king what oh snap <laughs> Oh, let's see. Um, uh, they were brutally murdered by Sasuke Uchiha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. You could okay. totally do that. No. <laughs> Not <laughs> canon? Okay, out of it. All right. <laughs> but uh, let's see. I mean, I don't know. Um, hmm, yeah, let's just let's go with the typical uh, tragic backstory. Her family was brutally murdered by someone who's unknown and she is uh searching for this person yeah and why would she make a pact with the devil or a fiend to to avenge her family couldn't she because do... it's all she knows she's like you know what i need power i gotta uh -huh. I gotta find out whoever did this and i'm gonna kill him but in order to do that i gotta actually have some sort of power so let's do this it's quicker to reach to a, a, a fiend or a devil rather than a, a, a you know, a, a god. So, you know, just gotta, just get, like, go the quick and easy route. Go to Ikea, just get the, you know, get get the parts, put it together in your own fashion, and figure out what's gonna go down. So, <laughs> yeah. I like that. Uh, you, you are, you are going to kick some ass, and you're going to be uh, avenging your family, and, like, what, like, did your, like, family, like, run... A business and they were killed because they didn't like meet the deal requirements of something or that's the thing she doesn't know oh no she doesn't know that's her story she wants to go that's like the story. what the There's hell mystery. did my family do yeah. <laughs> but hey it could turn out that our family's probably like awful who knows she doesn't know she, she doesn't just know. doesn't know I like this. So she has all these questions and all this bitterness. And yeah. So she has to find this dude and find out what. Oh, oh, why did you do this? Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> we're slowly, we're slowly making demon packed, dark elf Batman. Is what you're telling me. <laughs> or, Basically. <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. Does she have like apart from being like magical and having a bunch of spells? Does she have like cool gadgets? Like, you know, the staff that she has to cast magic through. You know, she has, like, you know, a sword that could pull out of it. Or just, like, you know, like, weird, like, sort of, like, Batarang kind of drow elf looking things. Sure. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, hmm. Uh, maybe a cool sword. <laughs> well, yeah, you definitely get, you automatically get a rapier, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Or we could we could like we could totally say screw that and give her a battle axe. Ooh, that'd be cool too. She cast magic through a battle axe. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Oh my gosh. 
Yo. Oh my. Yeah, God. let's do it. Battle axe. Let's do it. And then like you can like have like you, when you cast like poison, you could call it axe body spray. <laughs> and it would be. And you spray the walls with their blood. Hey. Hey, hey body <laughs> spray. Get it. Body yeah. Spray. Oh my gosh. Dark. That I like Dark though. I respect Me too. you. You're, you're getting to see. You're getting. You're getting into this. You're getting the hang of this. I. You know, Matt. 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 The 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 magical Mercer. Uh, you know, better be watching out for these for these six like six storytelling skills, yo. You hear me, Matt? <laughs> um, yeah, we love you too. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so now it's time to figure out your core six stats. This is going to give you the numbers of what you roll the dice with. So when you roll the dice, you add a bunch of numbers. But the numbers you will specifically figure out. You get a bunch of different numbers, but they're based off of six different numbers. And we're about to figure that out. So math is happening, and you don't have to worry about it right now. And we'll teach you math later. But with that being said, though, uh, starting off, is your character physically strong? Like, are they able to carry, carry like, 50 pounds or more? Heck, or yeah. Oh, my gosh. She she <laughs> don't know what the me word or meaning of meaning of weak means. Is she very dexterous? Yes, dext right. Yeah. Is she dexterous? Like, very fast, it's a fine dexterous. quick, and nimble? <laughs> no. She's going to just go, like, bash the door. It's like, what up, son? Laser face. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Hell yeah. Does she have good stamina at least, though? She's got it. She's got yeah, it. she got good stamina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is she smart? Mm -hmm. Like, does she know a lot of stuff? I'd say she's mm -hmm. maybe average. Is she yeah, wise? Average intelligence. Average intelligence. Just right. not, not too, not too... Not the smartest of the smart, but she she could uh, work through it. <laughs> is she is she observant? Yeah. All right, all right. I take this. <laughs> and are they very charismatic? Mm, yeah. Mm, I mean, in the nah, sense of all right, let's not, not, very, not too good with words. Here's here's like a U scale of like charismatic. You're either very charismatic and like you have a silver tongue and you're a very smooth talker. Or you have extreme charisma where you have the most self confidence and you're very brash. Mm, brash? Yeah. I wouldn't say she's she would be very very charismatic, no. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. That's fair. That's understandable. Uh, now here's here's the thing. Now you have skills. You have a list of skills that you can be proficient in. Uh, for your class uh, due to the fact that you are an elf and also the fact of your history of your character, you are proficient in handling animals, so you can calm them down. And you're very perspe perceptive. You're able to scout the area really well. And you're very good at survival. You're able to you're, you're able to survive on the woods. Just get the necessary resources from the, from the earth itself. <laughs> nice. Now you have two more skills you can be proficient in. You can be proficient in Arcana, Deception, history, intimidation, investigation, nature, or religion. Arcana. Mhm. Mm which uh, which means basically uh, you are you know how spells work. You know how the spells work, and you know what magical items you see before you. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. And you got one more you could be proficient in. <laughs> what were the other ones again? <laughs> it is totally okay. Uh, deception, history, intimidation, investigation, nature, or religion. Holy crap. Uh, what were the first three? Deception, history, and intimidation. Intimidation. Oh, hell yeah. Look at me. Wizard. Buff. Wizard skills. Like She does like this, and she goes into a flexing, and then like just sends out lasers. Yeah, like a badass. Yeah. Huh? That's... That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, we like it, uh, yeah. All right, so, that's the way we'd like it, but we do have one more question. Cool. What is your name? Oh, um. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I, I haven't thought this far ahead. No! <laughs> this is where we turn the show into an hour and da 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 
Uh, let's see. Mm, something cool. Yeah. It's gotta be. It's gotta be unique. It it's can't be gotta. something like. What? It's gotta. It's gotta be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I. I don't know. Shelby. No. Okay. I feel like that's such a common name. No offense to anyone out there named Shelby. Sorry, I have a few James. Named Shelby. But but uh. I, just, I don't know something unique, you want. You want that Star world. Wars name? <laughs> but, um, oh gosh, I need help. I can't. Oh man. You want me to help you? Yes. You want me? You want me to get you that rap name generator? <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds hilarious. All right, rap name generator coming up. Let's let's get the rap name oh, generator. Oh my gosh. We gotta. We gotta. You know, rap. Rap. Uh, name generator, and then, uh, okay, so, think of, think of, like, what is, what is, like, a what, uh, what is, uh, what, what is, like, a what is, like, a first, like, uncommon name you would want, that's, like, earthly? Ooh, earthly. Like, like maybe um, like amber, which is not very common nowadays, or. Hmm. Cheyenne. <laughs> basil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, not basil. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> hmm. Basil's cool. I mean, you can go with basil. No, I was making a joke. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Ooh, um, I'm looking up. I'm looking up names right now. Althea. Uh, that sounds beautiful. Oh my gosh. Althea. Okay, let's see. Hold on. You can nickname her Al. <laughs> <laughs> if you be my bodyguard. <laughs> Althea. That's uh, pretty. I like see. that. Okay, so you got for your rap rap names. We got Miss Althea. Uh, <laughs> MC Althea A. Oh my gosh. Uh, Chili Althea. Um, Althea Amix. <laughs> Let's ditch the DJ name. That All of these sound awful. La Althea. Um, yeah. This yeah, is... let's ditch that idea. <laughs> oh, that was a bad uh, idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A.K.A. Wicked Swoop. Oh my gosh, is that a real thing? That, I don't know. This is uh, we're That's just hilarious. Gonna, we're gonna... But but awful at the same time. Althea, oh no. Althea sounds cool though. Let's definitely put down Althea for sure. Cool, I like it. Um. Let's see. Althea Strong Spell. That works. Oh, okay. She is sold on that. And how would how would you, as the legendary Morgan Berry, voice Althea Strong Spell? How would I voice for her? Yeah, like what like what would you voice this character? Hmm. Very deep and low and demanding. <laughs> Where is my family? Oh right. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? My mom. <laughs> Why did you call her by that name? <laughs> I don't know! I thought she was your mom! She's older! I don't know, I'm not judging, man! Why did you say that name? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. So one of those. It's so funny. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. I love Althea. Althea's great. I forget. We, we, cool. should, to we cool. should totally get like Althea to do a game. We'll totally... We'll, 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 we'll play a game. We'll do this. With that, with that being said, though, Althea Spell Strong has been born, and Al and Althea Strong Spell, where can people find you on the amazing interwebs? <laughs> I am on Twitter at the Morgan Berry. I'm also on Instagram at the Morgan Berry, and Facebook at the Morgan Berry. And as far as YouTube, you just type in the Unknown Songbird, and it should come up. But uh, yeah, that's all my social media platforms. And you recently hit uh, 50k, haven't you? Yes, just recently I hit 50,000 sub subscribers on my channel, and I'm super stoked about that. Congratulations! Thank you.
<laughs> that is amazing. Good accomplishments come to good people, and that's what Morgan Berry is. Aw, oh, thanks. Well, thank you for coming on the show. I had a lot of fun creating out the uh, strong spell of the not bat ma'am. Uh, I, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I, I like her. She's very good. And also, holy God, that is... What is what is her, like, perception? She has, like, eagle eye perception. That is OP perception. Oh, snap. Oh, my gosh. You're literally going to murder anybody with, like... You could just look at a person and they're like, Oh, you're dead. Oh. You know, just something, <laughs> something like that. Uh, but with that being said, we won't give you the eagle eye and try to kill you. If you like, comment, subscribe, we won't force you to. Nowadays, it doesn't really matter. But we do appreciate it if you go ahead and tech check out our twitch where we do amazing D, &D games uh bnb underscore tavern that's not the b ampersand though because it don't allow that bn and is nancy and uh b tavern so if you want to do that check that out we won't force you to we do appreciate all the support you have given us throughout the year that we have existed on youtube and a personal thank you to everybody who's ever contributed to, to this channel i have never been in a position where i feel like i uh, I felt like I was friendless or alone, and all of you have been absolutely wonderful people that deserve nothing but the best, and if I can ever contribute and support your endeavors, don't hesitate to ask. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye! Do you want to say bye, Morgan? Bye! Yeah! Alright!